Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about Power IGBT. So friends, we all know what an IGBT is. IGBT stands for Insulated Gate Bipolar Junction Transistor. So, what is a power IGBT and how can we differentiate a power IGBT from IGBT? First of all, a power IGBT is an insulated gate bipolar junction transistor which can withstand extremely high amount of voltages and extremely high amount of current. So, let's say the first criteria of a power IGBT is It can withstand very high voltage and very high current. The second advantage of a power IGBT over IGBT is that a power IGBT can operate in a very high frequency application. So if a power semiconductor device is operating in a high frequency operation or high frequency application, that means that power semiconductor device should be very fast. So a power IGBT can operate in a very high frequency operation. That's the reason this is very fast. So we can say it has very fast response. So friends, how a power IGBT is constructed? So as we all know, a semiconductor device becomes a power semiconductor device when we dope an extra region to it. That means it is extremely heavily doped. When a power semiconductor device is heavily doped, that means we are increasing the N minus electron. That is the only reason why the width of the space charge region increases because of a lot of carrier charges or the amount of carrier charges which were present before heavily doping increases after doping it heavily that is the only reason after heavy doping a semiconductor device becomes power semiconductor device and that's the only reason it can withstand extremely high amount of voltages and extremely high amount of currents now friends let's talk about the construction of a power insulated gate bipolar junction transistor so friends unlike a power mosfet which is consisted of a drain source and gate however the igbt consists of an emitter collector and a gate so friends here in this figure we can easily see this is the gate terminal so we have got this so this is called gate now friends this layer here this layer is called injecting layer which consists of p plus region so let's say this is one this is two this is three and let's say this is four let's say this is three and let's say this is four so number one would be so number one is called the injecting layer and the injecting layer consists of p plus electron that means heavily doped holes and number two is called buffer layer so number two consists of n plus electrons and number three is called collector drift which consists of n minus electrons and number four is called body region so friends number one would be the injecting layer number two would be the buffer layer number three is the collector drift and number four is the body region so friends you can see here this region here this layer is totally metal coated the gate also metal coated this is also metal coated and this is metal coated as well so friends this is the internal structure of a power igbt so we have got our gate terminal a collector terminal and an emitter terminal whenever we are giving a gate signal to the power igbt and we are given an external voltage to the collector emitter terminal with the application of enough 
gate voltage the IGBT conducts in case of power IGBT it conducts in such a way that it can withstand extremely high amount of current and it can block extremely high amount of voltages and it is also capable of operating in a very high frequency operation so friends to summarize power IGBT is better than IGBT because of the earlier region that I mentioned number one would be extremely high response number two would be fast response number three would be extremely heavy current and voltage handling capability and number four would be the response time is very small that's the reason this criteria or so this advantages makes this device better than a conventional IGBT and we'll discuss about the internal structure and we'll discuss about different terminals of a power IGBT thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to ekeda and stay tuned with ekeda thank you so much